Canola School on realagriculture.com is supported by Bear Crop Science. For sclerotinia, really it, come, it comes down to measuring risk. It's, uh, for, for me and, and my approach to, to sclerotinia assessment, it's exactly that, it's an assessment. So I'm looking at crop rotation history, I'm looking at rainfall events, you know, if they're current or how long it's been since we've had a rainfall event, you know, have we grown canola, you know, one in three years or one in two or is it one in five? Is the, is the land we're growing canola on manured or has it been manured in the last couple of years? I always find, uh, it could be a nutrition thing and perhaps the, the scientists can tell me why, but you'll always find, or typically, you'll, you'll normally find the heaviest pressure of sclerotina is always in the, uh, the manured fields. That's what I find anyways, just because you've got big thick canopy, big lush growth, it just creates the environment perhaps that's conducive to sclerotinia. So again, you look for your manured fields, you look for your crop rotation, whether it's one and three, one and two, if it's really tight, there's a good chance you're gonna have sclerotinia. Are you in an area that typically sees sclerotinia? Have you had it in the past? So those are kind of the main you know, five things we look for, you know, in a nutshell, to, uh, to assess sclerotinia. So again, you would, look at, uh, you would look at lodging resistance as well. I find that plays a big, a big part in sclerotinia tolerance. Um, and it's not necessarily a tolerance, it's maybe where the petals land. So if you've, got a, if you've got a canola crop or a variety that doesn't stand very well, well those main stems are leaning over. So what you'll have is just an entire field that's kind of leaned over and when those petals are dropping, they're going to hit the main stem. And that's where the worst of it is, right? Because that's cutting off the entire nutrient supply to the plant. Versus something that stands really erect, you know, a, a really tall or really uh, just something that, that stands really well what you'll find is secondary, kind of secondary branches getting killed by the sclerotinia and it's not as bad because when those petals drop, your plant is standing erect, but those petals are falling into the leaf axis to the top. They're not necessarily falling down and hitting the main stem. They're just kind of, so you might see some secondary branches that are, that are getting affected by sclerotinia, but it's not the entire plant. So, so lodging resistance is a big one. So uh, for example, I had some fields last year that, uh, that I didn't spray and the, one of the, ver the varieties we used was uh, a really, uh, it was weak with its lodging rating and uh, it, was, and it did catch sclerotinia a little more. Even if you had sprayed, it was just really susceptible. Those stems were open and the flowering period was so long that, uh, that it left it susceptible to sclerotinia for just too long a period. And it just, that, that lodging rating, that, uh, that standability played such a key role in not knocking off that main stem. So again, yeah.